こんにちは密着記録へようこそ2016年10月4日ミシガン州アナポリス市帰宅途中の18歳のジョーダンはアフリカ系アメリカ人の若者3人組の強盗にあった3人はジョーダンの服と靴を奪った後彼に発砲し怪我をしたジョーダンは病院に搬送されたが死亡が確認されたその直後17歳のライト18歳のグレーシー19歳のエリソンが警察に逮捕された17歳のライトは成年年齢に達していないため裁判の前に答弁取引について検察官と合意をした答弁取引とは容疑者が犯罪を犯した後陪審制で有罪かどうかを決めることを指すしかし陪審裁判の前に検察官と答弁取引をして自分の罪を認めれば陪審裁判を省くことができより軽い刑を適用される2017年7月24日ライトの裁判が始まり担当した判事はスワルツである当時裁判の映像を見てみましょう On the morning of October 4th, 2016, did you agree and conspire with two other individuals, Delvino Gracie and Jamarius Ellison, to commit an armed robbery? Yeah. And who are you going to rob? Jordan Fleet. Jordan Fleet. And that afternoon,、uh, did you in fact rob Jordan Fleet? Yeah. And did you use a gun to place him in fear in order to take his property? Yeah. And as a result of that armed robbery, Um, what did you do with that gun and Mr. Jordan c l e e Shot him. And where did you shoot him? On the top. My Zay. And did, did you kill him with that shot? Yes. People are satisfied now. 検察官の尋問に対し、ライトは罪を認め、平気な顔で被告席に戻った。被害者の母親は悲しすぎて言葉が出ないため、彼女の代わりに、ジョーダンのいとこであるコートニー・クリーが裁判で語り始めた。ジョーダン・マイクル・クリー。Born July 26, 1998. Murdered October 4, 2016. At 18 years old. Jordan has no future. Jordan can no longer choose to go to college. Jordan can no longer choose to change. Jordan can no longer make a difference. Jordan can no longer fall in love or have a family. Jordan. No longer has a future. I've lost my only child, my son, my baby, my friend. More than that, I've lost laughter and love. I no longer have the hope of having grandchildren. I've lost the enjoyment of holidays and birthdays and of everyday life. As a mother or any parent ages, her child, her children are there to care for her. But now in my life, I walk this journey alone. I no longer have that luxury because that was carelessly and cruelly taken from me. I no longer get to see the smile of my son. Instead, it was a nightmare, a nightmare that no parent should ever endure. On the nights I manage to sleep, I wake up hearing my son scream for me to then have to realize all over again, night after night, my son is dead, gone, taken. For what? Why? Can you answer the question? Why? Why? I have an answer. Your answer will never be good enough. There will never be an answer good enough to satisfy why you shot my son. Why you thought that what you had should be yours. Why you felt that what you wanted you were entitled to. Why you thought his death was an acceptable response to your jealousy or desire to what he had. Drugs, clothes, money, jewelry, phones, shoes, whatever it was that you felt you needed more than his life. Your why will never be better than his life. Your want will never trump my son's death. You get to live. 被害者の家族は悲しそうに話しているとき、ライトは相変わらず無関心な顔でニコニコと笑っていた。Get to wake up every day. Your life continues. I sincerely, sincerely hope that whatever it was you wanted so badly that you felt the need to murder my son was worth the next at least 52 years of your continued existence. You won't get the luxury of raising your child because you took mine away. So, because for the first time in my life, I feel hate in my heart. Your actions have led you to a prison cell, but have also created an empty cell that I live in every day. While you can still hope to be released one day, I'll never escape my hell. You are still alive, but Jordan has no future. Thank you, Your Honor. We're done. Are you alright? So, no go, Swartz Hanji, a light to Bengonin, he has again. 弁護人が話し終えた後
ハンジはライトにまた何か話したいことがあると尋ねたがライトはまさか以下のように述べた「ライトは俺はすぐ家に帰られる家族を愛しているから」とハンジに伝えた。被害者の家族は陳述した際にライトを許すことをすでに告げたしかしライトは全く反省していなくて被害者の母親に謝罪の言葉も一切なかったハンジ・スワルツはライトに「これがあなたの言いたいことなのか」と問いかけたそして彼は法廷にいた全員に驚かせる決断を下した Sentenced by the parties, but watching you sit there, smile and laugh and shake your head like this was no big deal, I'm very tempted to just say, I'm not going to accept this sentence agreement. We'll go to trial, and if you're convicted of felony murder, you'll go to prison for the rest of your life. That means you'll die there. That's what I'm tempted to do. Mr. Bella, do you want me to accept this sentence agreement? You want to make me a post person? Yes. ハンジ・スワルツは犯罪の認定が陪審員が行うことを決め答弁取引を取り下げることにしたハンジの決断を聞いたライトはほとんど呆然としていた不利な状況に救われるため彼はずっと弁護人を見続けたが弁護人もどうしようもない気持ちでしたライトは最初に無関心な顔をしていたが今では唖然として言葉も失った弁護人はその後ライトが笑っていたのは怖がっていたからだ彼の子供っぽい行動を許してほしいとハンジに話したしかしライトの謝罪は非常に不誠実でまた遅すぎたと見られたため結局彼の犯罪事実の認定が陪審員が行うことを決められた最終的にライトは強盗罪拳銃の不法所持第二級殺人罪の有罪判決を受けられ52年の懲役を言い渡されたそして25年の懲役を終えるまで保釈することはできないと決定された他の2人の犯人はいずれも40年の懲役を言い渡された。